Hey everybody, welcome to another one of my tutorials, and as you can probably tell, uh, I have finally fixed my audio. Okay, so what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is I'm going to be showing you guys how to make, uh, make snow, like in the little video I did before. So, this is we're gonna be what we're gonna be making. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want <coughs> to go to your package and create a new uh, particle system. So let's go ahead and call it uh, Snow Tutorial. Go ahead and name it what you want and give it a uh, make it a part particle system press ok go ahead and close that down now you're going to want to search for a uh, let's see m underscore ctf and it's a material go to all assets first and here's what we're going to be using is a ctf flag Iron Guard Flare. You're probably going to want to ultimately make a different material that's more in line with what you're trying to do, otherwise it's going to be uh, inefficient. Particle systems are already pretty heavy on uh, sucking up hardware. Uh, so I just want to probably use a better material, but for this tutorial this will work. Go ahead and select it and then what we're going to do is we're going to go into turn back over to no not what I meant to do select it and go into your particle system now what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to required I believe yes required and go to emitter and then you're just going to uh, select this green arrow and let's hit this grid so we can see the origin point and you can see the materials coming out as a particle effect that's what we want <coughs> now next we're going to go to spawn go to spawn rate distribution and the constant is what changes the amount of particles that come out at any given time we're going to do, so we're going to bump this up quite a bit, we're going to bump it up to a thousand. It looks like a lot right now, it looks kind of crazy, but it'll look alright once we get, get a little bit further in the process. And now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and go to lifetime. And go, go ahead and open up lifetime, lifetime distribution. You have a min-max. You want your minimum to be about 15. At least for my scene, that's what works. And 25. That's a good distribution, I find. And now we're going to go over to initial size. Go to size, start size, distribution, max, min, just open them both up. And now for the max size, <clears throat> we're going to want about 6 on all uh, x, y, and z axes. Now for minimum, we're going to want 3 for all 3 axes. And now it's starting to look a little bit more like snow or maybe some powdery confetti, which is actually what we're shooting for. So we'll close that up. Let's go to initial velocity. Now we got a start velocity, distribution, max, min. So let's go ahead and open those up. What we're going to want is for the X and Y we're going to want 15. And then for the Z we're going to want negative 48. And if you want to have more of a snowstorm, like uh, going down a lot faster, then you're going to want to uh, decrease this number 
or if you want it to be slower then you're going to want to increase this number and so let's go to the minimum and the minimum we're going to want 5, 5 and then negative 24 and that gets a good variation between negative 24 and negative 48 the speed at which the snow falls it just makes it more believable <coughs> Wouldn't close those up, and we don't want to. We don't want color over life. What we want to do is we want to add a location, initial location, and let's go ahead and open that up. Go to start location, distribution, max, min. Just open them both up, and we're gonna want it to be about 500 for x, y. Oh, whoops, not five, five hundred for X, Y, and Z for the max and negative five hundred for X, Y, and Z for the min. And now as you can see we got a pretty good effect going on here. Now the key to changing this effect is um not going not required. You can change the duration as to how long the effect lasts, but you can go to spawn, change this constant to have more snow or less snow, go to lifetime and increase the lifetime and distribution. That will make it and so it's not spawning in the room that you're in or in your scene so it's less noticeable. Initial size, if the snowflakes are too big for you then decrease it or if they're too small for you go ahead and increase it. Initial velocity, if you want to change the velocity like uh, add a wind direction you're gonna wanna like uh, increase the X more than the Y or increase the Y more than the X and uh, if you want it to be coming down a lot faster, uh, go ahead and bump up the Z. That way it's more of a snowstorm rather than a little bit of a snow trickle down. And if you have a much bigger environment, go ahead and increase these numbers, the mins and max. Well, increase and decrease, I should say, uh, based on what you need. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this, and I'm going to go to the particle effects, particle system, all assets, particle system, not materials. Um, in the right. Oh, that's why. There we go. And let's go to particle system, and we got snow tutorial. Let's go ahead and bring this into the scene here. Right there. Go ahead and close that down. Let's go into our different views. Go ahead and align this properly. This is the, I believe, uh, side view. So go ahead and get that about right. Let's pull this over a little bit. Press Shift D to duplicate, bring it over, and lower it a bit. See what that looks like. And let's go ahead and play in the viewport. And I think this looks quite excellent. The thing I love about this effect is the fact that each particle is in 3D space. So you can walk past it and it looks very realistic as compared to having post-process effect where the material is being panned down in front of you. That doesn't look particularly realistic but it sucks up less resources. So there's several trade-offs that you, you gotta really weigh yourself. Okay, so that is about it for this tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next tutorial.